Okay, I normally carry cells or spare batteries in a power packs battery caddy similar to this. I have them for uh, pretty much every battery type that I use. This happens to be AAA in Coyote. You can, uh, if you want, you can, it seems a little wasteful, but you can cut right here and right here and you sacrifice one of the four and you can make a single setup which leaves you a double setup as well. Um, for a long time I've been carrying something like this in the fifth pocket of my uh, jeans. The uh, when it's four triple A or four double A um, or the four CR one two three A's, it's no problem getting them in the fifth pocket. But the four slot eighteen six fifty holder is just too much in a pocket like that. So that's why I cut it down and. You know, there's enough energy in here that generally one cell is all you need to get you through a day after you uh, deplete a cell. Um, recently, I placed an order with IMR batteries, and I'll get to IMR batteries again in a minute, but they had these silicone sleeves. Battery just comes in and out like this. Okay. And, you know, they were like a dollar a piece or something, and I picked up a few. They only had them for the 18650. I'm sure that you could find something like this at any, uh, you know, overseas seller. You know, all the places where you would buy a budget flashlight would uh, probably have something like this in other cell sizes. But yeah, this is a this is just a little bit less diameter and you know about the same length, but it fits a little nicer in the pocket and. Um, when, I'm, when I don't carry it in the fifth pocket, I sometimes wear uh, collared shirts with chest pockets. Just drop it right in there. Works great. Now, I'm pretty risk adverse when it comes to buying cells. Like this happens to be an AW cell. Um, AW has a list of authorized resellers. So you, you know, you're pretty sure you're not getting a counterfeit when you deal with them. But when I don't get AW cells or they don't have what I need, I like to um, I like to buy from U.S. based sellers, you know, known sellers, either um, you know Amazon factory stores or what have you. So recently, I purchased a bunch of Efest IMR cells from IMR Battery, and I am IMR Battery is kind of like a newer company, but they're a subsidiary of a larger company that's been around for like 30 years and as far as I could tell all the um, you know all the cells seem to be genuine the prices were fair I happened to buy through a group buy at the budget light forum so I think I saved like 20 percent off the whole order they sent cases along with I think with every two cells they sent um, extra shrink wrap for a couple of the cells and they were just, you know, generally they shipped fast and, you know, everything was everything was good with them. So if you're like me and you're risk adverse and you want to minimize the chance of getting a fake and you don't want to buy from someplace in China that's, you know, may or may not be getting you what you need or, you know, you should check out IMR Battery and, you know, I don't, they didn't give me anything but, um... Readers of my uh, forum post might remember that I, I used to deal a lot with Battery Junction, but they sent me damaged cells one time that I returned, and they charged me 15% restocking fee even though the cells were messed up. So yeah, I don't deal with them anymore because I'm uh, you know holding a grudge. <laughs> By the way, uh, if anybody from Battery Junction sees this. Yeah, I buy, still buying a lot of stuff, batteries, flashlights, and uh, I'm not buying from you guys, so. But that's a whole other video. All right, thanks for watching. Like I said, it's mainly just a quick look at these silicone things. I mean, it's, they're pretty cool, you know. Just drop a cell in, the, the terminals at either end 
or protect it. It's pretty pretty thick rubber. I'm gonna say like a three sixteenths of an inch, probably you know three millimeters, whatever, on either end. And uh, doesn't offer the protection that something like this offers, but you know lighter weight and uh, a slightly smaller overall package might be worth the trade-off in protection. You know, like honestly, when it's in your pocket. Especially when it's in a pocket by itself, you know, what's going to happen to it, really? All right, there you go. Just a quick little vid. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. If you guys have any questions about any of that, just let me know. Be happy to answer.